Hi everyone, Yasas Kekalo Sejtate to another episode of Dimitra's Dishes. Today we're making a very easy dish that's perfect for a busy weeknight, but it's also really elegant. You can serve it um, for dinner to your friends or family or whoever's coming over, whoever you want to treat. We're making the lemony cod and potato stew. Very easy, very delicious, light, flavorful, something that the whole family will, will love. Let's get started. So you're gonna need a shallow pot for this. It's best to use a shallow pot and you'll see why as we're cooking. I have one onion that I have finely chopped. I'm also gonna add about a quarter of a cup of olive oil to this. And it's cooking over medium heat. We're gonna cook this until the onion is nice and soft. We're not trying to get any color on it, so don't get the heat too high. Let it happen low and slow. It's gonna take about eight to 10 minutes or so, maybe less. You can use leeks instead if you prefer because they're nice and mild. So while the onions are cooking, let's get all of the rest of the ingredients ready. This is so basic and simple. You don't need anything fancy. I have six scallions here that I'm just gonna finely chop or thinly slice. <laughs> Thinly slice is more like what you do to scallions, right? Let's get them all facing the same direction. When they sit in your fridge for a few days, they start to open up and just go all over the place. And I like to go all the way down to the roots to use the whole scallion. In some parts of the world, this is known as a green onion. Okay, then I have a bowl of cold water. I'm just gonna put all the sca scallion slices in here. It's a good way to clean the scallions. It, it releases whatever dirt is trapped in between the leaves and all that dirt will sink down to the bottom. If they tend to be especially dirty, then you're gonna wanna switch out the water a few times. Uh, definitely not by you know pouring it over a strainer because everything that's on the bottom will end up right back onto the scallion. So just lift them out put them in a strainer and then switch out the water until the water is pretty clear. This, these scallions are already clean, so I'm just gonna lift them out. There's hardly any dirt in there. And I'm doing this over the counter, but obviously the best place to do this is over the sink. Okay, and that's it. We're just gonna set these aside so they can drain, and I'm gonna spill this water out. All right, then you're gonna need five or six potatoes, depending on the size. Of one, two, three, four, five, and one big one. Use as many as you want, you guys. We're gonna cut these into rounds, about a quarter of an inch thick. And if some of the potatoes are big, you could cut it in half and then just slice them into half rounds. <laughs> then I have the juice of two lemons. You need about a quarter of a cup of lemon juice at least. I like to add more, so add as much lemon juice as you like. I like a third of a cup of lemon juice. You know me, I like it extra lemony. Pretty much that's all that you need as far as prep work goes. Once the onions are done, we're, we're just gonna put it all together. It moves pretty quickly. Okay, so once the onions are soft, then you're gonna add two or three garlic cloves that have been grated. Just mix them in. It's not traditional to add garlic in fish recipes in Greece, but I like lemon and I like extra garlic and I'm gonna add it every chance I get. So once the garlic is in and it's nice and fragrant, just takes a few seconds, go ahead and add the scallions that you've thinly sliced and just toss them around um, in the pan for about a minute or two until they're a little bit warm and fragrant and soft. They're gonna continue to cook with the fish and the potatoes so you don't have to worry about them fully cooking right now. And I like to season every step of the way. It's the secret to having flavorful food, a little bit of salt. At this point, we're gonna add the potatoes. And we're gonna season those with salt and pepper. Potatoes need plenty of salt. If you don't add salt, they're not gonna have any flavor. Black pepper, as much as your heart desires. If you want it with a little bit more of a kick of heat, you could add some crushed red pepper flakes, some cayenne pepper. Your kitchen, your rules. I would even throw a serrano chili in here. It's not traditional, but I do like a little bit of heat in my food. I feel like it makes it taste better, makes it taste fresher. Once everything is seasoned properly, it is time to add the fish. 
So you need five or six cod fillets. This does feed a crowd. You just put them in right on top of the potatoes. And of course, you want to season those as well. Salt, pepper. And I like to add some thyme as well, about a heaping teaspoon or so. And then two and a half cups of either chicken stock, fish stock, vegetable stock. Any, it, worst comes to worst, you can just add some water. I just feel like the chicken stock does add much more flavor. If you have fish stock, it's even better. And then we're gonna cover this. We're gonna cook this over medium heat for 30 minutes until the potatoes are nice and fork tender. The fish is gonna be fully cooked. Then there's just one more step left to finishing this off. Okay, so after 30 minutes, go in and take a look and make sure that the potatoes are fork tender. They're not gonna be 100% fully cooked, but they're gonna continue to cook in the heat of the broth. Plus now we're gonna finish this off by thickening it with um, an, a lemon juice and cornstarch mix, mixture. So to the lemon juice, I'm gonna add, you could add one to two teaspoons of cornstarch. It all depends how thick you want the uh, broth to be. You can actually leave the cornstarch out if you want it more of like a soupy kind of consistency, but I do want to thicken it just a little bit. So I'm adding two flat teaspoons of cornstarch and I'm diluting it by whisking it together with the lemon juice and then just go ahead and pour it in. You don't want to go in with a spatula and mix it around because you're going to break everything up. So just turn it around like this by shaking it a little bit and just swirling the pot around. And you're gonna to continue to cook this for five more minutes on a low heat. I'm also gonna add some freshly chopped dill. This is about two tablespoons or so. You could add parsley instead, but dill and fish go so nice together. And before adding the lemon cornstarch mixture, you can go in and taste the broth and see if it needs a little bit more salt and pepper. It's up to you. That would be the time to season it properly. The house already smells so delicious. I'll show you what it looks like as soon as it's done. It's gonna be a few more minutes. And just like that, the meal is ready. It's ready in under an hour. I would say about 45 minutes, and this can be on the table from stovetop to the table. All you need to serve this with, I recommend serving this with some nice hearty toasted bread, a nice salad, and that's it. But you can serve Mediterranean rice pilaf or plain white rice, cauliflower rice, roasted veggies. There's so many ways to serve it, whatever you guys like. That's what you should serve it with. It is time for the taste test. Mm. That sauce is perfect. Not too thick, not thin at all. I do like it more on the brothy side and keep in mind that it is going to continue to thicken as it sits. The potatoes do release lots of starch. The potatoes are also gonna continue to cook, so keep that in mind, don't overcook them. It might seem like they need a little more time, but the steam and the heat from the sauce and everything in, in the pot is gonna continue to soften those potatoes. The fish is so nice and light. It was poached in that broth and has so much flavor. It's flaky, delicious, the potatoes melt in your mouth. Lemony, just the way I like it. I think I put about a third of a cup of lemon juice, but I love it lemony, so it's up to you. You make it as lemony as you like. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. If you have any um, requests, recipe requests, post them in the comments as well, and I will get to them as soon as I can. If you wanna learn how to make a delicious bread to serve with this, click over here and I'll see you right over there. Exact measurements, as always, are on the website, dimitrisdishes.com. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me today. I'll see you all next time. Yes, us.